Hi everyone, um, I know I've been away for a while but obviously I have moved um, and I've had a lot of like repairs and things done to my house. I have only just really got properly working internet yesterday so I was like right I'm going to film something and let everyone know I still exist, I'm still here, I'm not going away I promise. Um, but yeah I've had a lot to do. Um, I got recommended a while ago to do bookshelf tour so since I've actually unpacked all my books I thought that would be a good way to get back on with everybody so hi everyone, uh, thank you for your patience and I'm going to try and be more regular again now. So uh, these are Phil's bookshelves over here uh, so I'm not going to show you them but you can have a quick sneak if you're, if you're uh, looking closely enough, that's what he's got. And then this is my manga shelf here. And as you can see, Phil hasn't unpacked all of his things yet because there's just random DVDs like bunched over on those shelves. But yeah, so these are my manga. Um, I'm not going to go too intensely into these because otherwise this video is going to be like an hour long. So I'm just going to show you the first one of each series. So we have Absolute Boyfriend by Yuwatase. And then we have Alice 19th by Yuwatase. <laughs> then we have Arata the Legend by you would I say. Yes, there is a theme. And then we have Ceres by you would I say. Um, and that's the entirety of the top shelf. Then we go back to the shelf and there's the rest of Ceres. And then we have Full Moon, which is by Arena Tanimura. And then I have Fushigi Yugi by you would I say. As you know, this is my favourite manga. So if I'm recommending anything, here it is. Then I have Shigi Yuki Genbu Kaden, also by Yu Watase. <clears throat> then I've got the rest of Shigi Yuki. And then um, Happy Hustle High by Rei Takada. Oh, I can't get it back in. <clears throat> then I've got Imadoki by Yu Watase. And then I have Carry First Love by Keo Mikiyasha. And I have. Negima by Ken Akamatsu. Again, can't get it back in. Not very organised. Um, <clears throat> then we have The Nightmare Before Christmas manga adaptation. I don't know who it's by, it doesn't say, but it's obviously just someone who has done the film in manga form. Um, and then I have A Fellow, which is by Satomi Ikizawa. This shelf's really cramped. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. Um, then I've got Rini Kenshin by Nobuhiro Wasuki. Which I can't get back in. Sorry, guys. Awkwardly just trying to get back in there. Uh, then I have School Rumble by Jin Kobayashi. And I have Wicked Lovely by Melissa Ma. Uh, the Desert Tales story. Um, some of these stories I don't have the, all the editions, um, I only have like part series so I'm hoping to finish at least all of the stories I have here and then I'll think about starting other stories if I can actually get some of these finished. That's the take I've had to take on Mango because it's so difficult to collect. And as you can see I've got a little Miyaki Yuki living in the corner there, she's the main character from Shiki Yuki. So that's all my manga and then we have to go all the way across the room looking at all the random stuff that I've just got in this room to find my novels. So you can see they're all nicely presented and um, I have pictures on top of my shelves. So I've got Nightmare Before Christmas, um, Evanescence, Red Dwarf and then I've got a little like inside joke that Phil drew for me on top of my shelves. Um, not sure if that's a permanent thing, I've also got like all my little trinkets on here and again not sure if that's a permanent thing but that's what I'm going with for now at least until I can figure it out. So, here I have The Wrath and the Dawn by Rene Adier and I have both books. Then I have Half Blood by Gem Jennifer L. Armentrout and there's many more books in this series so not sure if I'm going to continue on with that one. Then I have Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. There's another book, I think there might be two more books out in this series so I'm getting behind. Then there is the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo, which I actually preferred to the Six of Crows duology, also by Lee Bardugo. Um, this is all part of her Grishaverse. Then there is the Ashes trilogy by Ilsa J. Bick. Then we have The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. 
uh, three dark crowns and one dark throne by Kendall Blake. I think there's a third book to those, um, but I haven't, I should probably explain. Books that are like this, where there's like, they're out a bit, that means I haven't read it yet. So um, I just keep them out so that I know for definite how many books I have to read. And then I have The Passenger Duology by Alexandra Bracken. Um, then I have, oh, The Twisted Tales series. Um, there's a trilogy by Liz, Liz Braswell. Um, but then it actually gets continued on by Elizabeth Lim. So it kind of doesn't fit my alphabetically ordered shelves. Um, but I've got this Mulan retelling here, Reflection, I haven't read yet. Um, I didn't even realise this series had been continued on until I saw it randomly in the shop. And I was like, oh, I'll get that, it's cheap. Uh, then I have the Selection series by Kira Cass. I have the School of Good and Evil trilogy. I'm not continuing on with the spin-offs either of this one. I've just decided this is the series um, by Samir Chanini. Then I have the Dark Secret Stories, um, and these are by Elizabeth Chandler. Then I have Kissed by an Angel, which is a bind up of three books by Elizabeth Chandler. And I got rid of the rest of the books because I didn't like the story after that. Uh, then I have the Splendor Falls by Rosemary Clement Moore. I have Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by Rachel Cohn and David Lefeifen. And I have Under My Skin by James Dawson. I have the Isle of the Lost books by Melissa De La Cruz. Not sure what I'm doing with that series either. Then I have Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I have Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. These Shallow Graves by Jennifer Donnelly. Cell 7 and Day 7 by Kerry Drury. Not sure with this one if this is a duology or if there's going to be more books. Then I have the Angel Fall trilogy by Susan E. I have the Perfect Chemistry Trilogy by Simone Alcalaz. My Lady Jane, um, and this is by three people, Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jodie Meadows. Not sure if I'm going to continue on with this one either, just because I thought this was kind of it, but now it seems they're taking on every story that might have a Jane in it. Um, Haunting Violet by Alexandra Harvey, also Stolen Away by Alexandra Harvey. Uh, Winter Song by S.J. Jones. Um, oh, throwing it on the floor. So this is a story that's a labyrinth retelling and I watched the film in order to read the book. They're nothing alike um, and I preferred the book to the film. I didn't like Labyrinth and I'm upset about it because I thought I was going to absolutely love it so that's kind of devastating. Then I have The Queen of the Tailing Trilogy by Erica Johansson. I'm very excited to read Fate but it has to wait because I read my books in the order that I buy them. Um, then A Thousand Nights by E.K. Jo Johnson, not Johansson, that was before. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Then I've got Red Tears by Joanna Kendrick on my second shelf, on my second bookcase. Um, then The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Oh, no, don't put that one fully away, haven't read it. Then Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Um, let me just uh, angle myself a little bit more over. Then The Lone Loneliness of Distinct Beings by Kay Lim. Huntress by Melinda Lowe. The Legend Trilogy by Marie Lou. The Young Elites Trilogy by Marie Lou. And the Court of Thorns and Rose Trilogy. Um, Court of Thorns and Roses Trilogy by Sarah J Maas. Um, then the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. Um, I still have Tower of Dawn left to read. I am getting a little bit awkward of all these intense sex scenes in her books. I wish she'd stop writing basically erotica and then surrounding it in fantasy so she gets away with it. Um, <laughs> I think she needs to just write an erotica series and get it out of herself. Um, Made For You by Melissa Marr. The Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Marr. Obviously there's Desert Tales and I have the Fairy Tales and Nightmares, um, all the novellas. Uh, the Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. I believe the second book of that series is out and I should probably get it. And then I have The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, which took over my life. I still adore them um, and I have the spin-offs for those as well. Then I have Heartless, also by Marissa Meyer. And I think her new book, Renegades, is out in the UK now. 
Um, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, then the Queen of Hearts series by Colleen Oaks. I hope the third book of this comes out soon because I'm really enjoying it. Replica by Lauren Oliver. Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. I don't know why that was tucked in because I haven't read it yet, so it needs to come back out. Um, I also have Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. Then I have Acid and The Fearless by Emma Pass, which I think she's a really good dystopian writer and more people should know about her. Uh, Forgotten by Kat Patrick. The Sisters Red, I believe this series has a name by Jackson Pierce, but it's all the fairy tale retellings. Um, I have Between the Lines by Jodie Picot and Samantha Van Leer. I got rid of the other one because it annoyed me. Um, then I've got Snow Light Ashes by Sarah Rash. And again, this third one should be out. I don't know why this bottom shelf I've just decided they can all go in. I haven't read that one yet either. Uh, then I've got Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rothsey. The whole trilogy again. Uh, then I've got Carry On, Eleanor and Park and Fangirl all by Rainbow Rowell. Eleanor and Park was my favourite of these. Apparently it's quite controversial now so maybe I'll reread it and see if I pick up on it because a lot of people said they didn't the first time they read it. Um, then there's the Glow Trilogy by Ailey, Amy Kathleen Ryan. Then we come up to the third case and I have the Septimus Heap series by Angie Sage. Then I have the Sin Eater's Daughter, I believe this is a finished trilogy now, by Melinda Salisbury. This Savage Song duology by V. Schwab. Then I've got The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. And the third book of this is actually out in paperback now, so I need to get my hands on that. Um, then I've got Scythe by Neil Schusterman. And you can see this is quite new because it's still got a sticker on it. Um, so, spoiler alert for any hauls I have, I guess. Uh, then I have the Study Series by Maria V. Snyder. And then I have the Raven Boys by Maggie Stevata. Oh, no. Don't want that one going back. Then I've got An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. The Daughter of Smoke and Bone Trilogy by Lainey Taylor. Um, the Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. This is the only book from Education that I've kept. Um, it's the only one that really stuck with me. So, yeah, I guess the honour of being on my shelves of all the fantasy that I have. Um, then I've got Generation Dead, the trilogy by Daniel Waters. I've got Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, Margot La Lanigan and Deborah Biancotti. Um, I think there's another book in this series, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, then I've got the And I Darken um, trilogy, I think it's going to be by Kirsten White. And then I have her Paranormalcy trilogy too. And then the last shelf, I have... Ah! A book that's in too tightly, apparently. Uh, I have the Dead Beautiful trilogy by um, Yvonne Woon. Then I have the All These Things I've Done trilogy by Gabrielle Zevin. And then I have um, Charlene Harris's Sucky Stackhouse novels, the True Blood books, which um, I've read these first two and then I haven't read any of the others. But I'm not sure if I'm ever going to read any of others, but I can't part with this because it was the last gift I ever got from my nana before she died. So, yeah, I'm kind of being re really weirdly sentimental with this. But okay, okay, let me off. Um, then I have Little Miss Chatterbox because I got this as a joke present, and well, you've probably you probably already noticed I am Little Miss Chatterbox. I don't shut up. So then I have my RuPaul Drag Race Essential Fan Guide. I have my official robot guide for Robot Wars. I will never part with that. That's like a precious gem in my life. I have Grave Minder by Melissa Mayer. No, 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 I'm doing it again. Melissa Ma. I kept doing this when I was talking about the Lunar Chronicles and I've just done it the other way around now. Sorry, guys. Um, then I have the Kathy's trilogy, which is like, these books are really unique because they come with, like, props of things that have happened within the story so you can, like, see the evidence. And then lastly, I have the Lips Touch short stories by Lainey Taylor. And that is my bookshelf. That's all my books I have. 
Um, so you can see I've got quite a few books to read. I have been a bit rubbish really with reading this year in general, but especially since we've moved, it's, I've just been, I've had a lot going on guys. Um, I've been very tired. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's those and I'll let you have a, a bit of a closer look of all my trinkets, things that I've got going on on this shelf. Um, you can see my entire personality is basically on display here. I mean, look at all my Tiana's happily fitting together on a shelf. Oh, apparently my tiara's fallen over. Oh, I can't do this one-handed. This is really awkward. But I did have it so it sat on top. That'll have to do for now. Anyway, so yeah, so I've got all my Tiana's happily, finally, on the shelf they all fit. And I've got lots of little random bits and pieces. You can see my little Simone there. You can see, like, oh, that's a lacuna coil drumstick. And then, like, lots of cuddly friends. And then a CD player, because, of course, I still have a CD player. You know how much I love music. Um, so, yeah, this is... Uh, this is what I've got going on at the moment. Thank you for your patience again. Um, I have just seen both Evanescence and Epica within a week. So if my voice is a bit funny, it's because I've been screaming my head off and crying. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and hopefully you'll see my face again soon, guys. Bye.